wrestling on mat number five. And if I recall, it was Justin Oliver picked up the decision. Jamel Morris lost, so they're one and one. Hayden Headley looking to make it two and one for the Wolfpack of North Carolina State. Heidley, of course, the NCAA Finals last year went into the Finals undefeated, lost to Jason Nolf. Ended up taking second place. Pushing the pace. Here is Hidden Heidley. In deep on a shot, single leg switches to a double. Early lead for the North Carolina State wrestler, 2-0. And then 157 pounds. And highlight the number five seed, 20 and two record on the season. And his two losses came pretty close to each other. The first one was late November to Larry Early of Old Dominion. And then it was two weeks later to Tyler Berger of Nebraska. So Larry Early, of course, the Minnesota transfer to Old Dominion. That moved him into the top five of the rankings. I want to even say the top three of the rankings. Uh, he, he eventually went on to lose uh, multiple matches, but it was the loss to Ryan Deacon that ended up bumping him back down under Hayden Hidley. Hidley, Hidley going back and forth between the two. Either way, he's picking up near fall here. So Heidley now has the 4-0 to zero advantage takedown. And a possible fall for an Oklahoma Sooner over on mat number 6. So it's Justin Thomas picks up the 7-1 to one victory. But Hidley, 20 and 2 on the season. Two time NCAA qualifier. He has a 7 and 2 record versus the field from Mifflin County High School, Lewis Town, Pennsylvania. The ACC champion at the ACC's defeated Josh McClure, BC LaPrade, Jake Keating, and Talib Rahimi. Steve Blyze and Chase Straw will be coming up next here on mat number five. Pretty one-sided opening period here. Heidley, two minutes and 13 seconds of riding time. Matt Torchinski gets the flip. It's going to be Green's choice. So Hunter Willits will go in the top position as Heidley elects the down position to start period number two. Hunter Willits, the 28th seed. Oregon State Beaver, the sophomore, is a 19 and eight record two-time NCAA qualifier. And he's one and six against the field. Lost to Larry Early, Keyshawn Hayes, Eric Barone, Ryan Deacon, and Christian Pagdaleo twice. So those are his six losses against the field. Pueblo County High School in Pueblo, Colorado. Sounds like Berger. Victorious. He's the number two seed at this weight, 157 pounds. This weight features the returning champion in Jason Nolf and four other returning All Americans. Also features nine seniors, 10 juniors, nine sophomores, and five 
get that five true freshmen. Headley in deep on a shot. Close to picking up a takedown. Coach Blanc and Coach Hall wanting Hydley to pull that in there. It does had the left ankle, pulled it in bounds. Had a tough time reaching across to try and find that right ankle, but was able to do so. Picked up another takedown. Eight to one is his lead, two minutes and 22 seconds. Half way through the opening round and it's Oklahoma State, the Cowboys. And Penn State sit atop of the team scores with eight points, so it's Oklahoma State and Penn State with eight. And then it is Iowa and Ohio State with seven and a half and rounding out the top five. We have a couple of, excuse me, a bunch of teams. It's Michigan, it's Minnesota, Missouri, and Rutgers who all have seven points. How about this? Without a doubt, the best matchup in the opening round is going on over on mat number two. It's Joe Smith, the 33rd seed, taking on Alex Marinelli. And you say, how is a 33rd versus a one seed the top match of the opening round? Well, Joe Smith was competing at 174, multiple time All American, dropped down to 165 for the team as Oklahoma State shuffled their lineup late in the season before the Big 12 championships. So Joe Smith finds himself down at 165, and he's taking on the top seed, Alex Marinelli, and is not only taking on the top seed in Alex Marinelli, he's leading 2-1, to one, and that match is going on over on mat number two. That's about 91. Fourteen to one. So you look over quickly to see Joe Smith, and you take a peek back here to mat number five, and it's already fourteen to one for Hydley and Hydley. Four minutes plus of riding time. Let's see who will have. It's going to be Chase Straw and Steve Blyze. So the winner of this will take on Thomas of Oklahoma, who I touched on one on that number six. So it'll be Hydley and Thomas, about 215 at 157 pounds. You're watching the NCAA Wrestling Championships.